welcome to another edition of Raw is Rigster. Yeah. Oh, yeah. This past Monday was full of surprises, especially when you had Randy Orton out there calling out Drew McIntyre. Now, we all know that two weeks ago, Drew McIntyre got a few punts in the head by Randy Orton. And it has been nothing but, you know, a few ups and downs since then with Randy Orton. So Randy Orton comes out there calling Drew McIntyre out. But lo and behold, Drew McIntyre had showed up out of the blue. And in a matter of one, two, three, Claymore kick from hell. Oh yeah, ladies and gentlemen, Randy Orton was left flat on his back after getting Claymore kicked by Drew McIntyre. But Drew McIntyre was not done. Later on that night, he had to get two more Claymore kicks in. And it was awesome. Next, you got MVP backstage picking on the little guy when he stops a janitor in mid-walk, I may add, and says, did you say something to me? And starts picking on the guy, even though he didn't say nothing. The hurt business is pushing it a little too far, especially when it comes to the frontliners of the WWE keeping the floors clean and your ass. But MVP, you going out there and causing a lot of static, especially when you had that match against Apollo, Cedric, and Ricochet. Middle of the match having Cedric turn on the rest of the team. Oh, yeah. I didn't like that whatsoever. But Cedric, a message to you. You better watch Sheldon. Moving on, Liv Morgan and Ruby Riot Having two matches. Yes, I said two matches. They had two matches. Handicap match against Shayna Baszler, one half of the Women's Tag Team Championships. And a major upset there, ladies and gentlemen, as, you know, Liv was able to get a good pin on Shayna. Now, <laughs> that wasn't impressive to, uh, you know, Nia Jax out there waiting on the sign, but even Nia Jax didn't even realize what she was getting when... She was pinned in her match. Ladies and gentlemen, Ruby Riot and Liv Morgan are loving this winning thing, and I believe it's going to continue. And all they need are those tag team women's championships, and we are smooth sailing. Next, we have Angel Garza walking out on Andrade during their match. What's up with that, ladies and gentlemen? I believe he is afraid. He's afraid of retribution. But nonetheless, ladies and gentlemen, he lost the match. But you know what? Street Profits is doing exactly what they do best, and that's bringing the smoke and wind. And then while they were out there, they had Cesaro and Snitsky, the SmackDown Tag Team Champions, out there calling them out and saying they wanted a match against the Raw Tag Team Champions next week. And I believe this is going to be a great match for next week for the Street Profits and Cesaro and Schninski. It's going to be awesome. And it should have been a match for SummerSlam. Oh, yeah. Let's not forget about Mickey James coming out there and proving once and for all that she is still in the game. And you know the People's Fan is still here rooting for you. Now let's get to Raw Underground, ladies and gentlemen, when Aleister Black goes up against Kevin Owens. Now, I don't know what the static is between those two. It just came out of the blue. But one thing's for sure, they had an amazing match down in the underground that, you know what, it happened to have gotten interrupted by this tank top, dude. I have no clue 
what his name is. What's his name? You can, it, oh, it doesn't matter what his name is. But guys, Raw Underground is just something that looks like it gives people a chance to, you know, blow off some steam. And one thing's for sure, when Kevin Owens going up against Aleister Black, they blew a lot of steam off. I wonder if they could coexist in the future as a tag team. Hmm. And now finally we get to Rey Mysterio coming out there with his family. And proven beyond a shadow of a doubt that family sticks together. You see, Murphy had the guts to call them out. And one thing's for sure, going out to the ring wasn't a very good idea. As you see, as Murphy got tied up, and next thing you know, he has the whole entire family giving him wax with the kendo stick. Oh yeah, 86 wax all together, ladies and gentlemen. And man, I would have to say that after what happened to Dominic, I believe the eye in it for an eye thing has been leveled out. And we can move on to bigger and better things. Because it doesn't look like Mr. Rollins is going to be back anytime soon. So how about that, Murphy? You got no choice. How about you just take my card?